This is OG versus TNC. I want to see some high pace action. And if they can pressure early on, like if OG want to slow this up. Oh, in fact, already TNC looking to get involved. This is a four on four around the top rune. Who do they want to go for? You get a three man in the Nova and the damage into Gabby is heavy. Tim's gets the fissure off and he'll steal the bounty rune as well. They're all trying to escape up the hills. Gabby is the lowest and that's the one they really cannot afford to lose. Slow him down. The Gale will now connect from Cuckoo, but it all comes too oh, no. late. And if you can control your map, then it's going to get better. Chirax, uh, okay, he's gonna get rid of the Sentry War, but Seb being initiated on the Searing Chains, no! It went up to the Trias, they kept him on top, but it won't matter anyway. Seb is still gonna be brought down by Gabby. Almost even, like it's 10 the difference, but the net worth yeah, is exactly. already over 4.1k. Top lane, Cuckoo's in trouble again, but hey, don't worry. He's got Tim's here, or actually, he's got Tim's there, but where is your Fisher? It's still on cooldown for one more second. He can throw it out and actually get the kill onto no -tell. He just needs a little bit more time, and here cool. comes it. Pops is here though. Yeah, yeah. Pops the old. Killed off Cuckoo. Gonna turn on the Magnetize and uh, Seb is also gonna TP in. He had a little bit of extra damage to ensure that Tim's gonna tick out. The Tango regeneration, it will not be enough. So Topson will claim his second kill underneath that tier one. Well, he can get seven. that. You got the Orchid build coming in from Seb. It's dangerous. Rolling. Boulder up on the top, tops and initiates over onto Cuckoo. He'll get the Gale up with the Magnetize. Cuckoo knows he's gonna die. That's why he begins the TP, but there's another kick available. And Spectral Horn, he's bouncing all the way down, working with Jirax oh. to kill up the Alchemist. Maybe this won't work for him. Gabby will arrive as well as Jirax. He can go invis in one second time. Remember, there's very little fade time, but he will still be brought down. He just finished it. A 10 minute radiance. <laughs> the, now. the rest will be on the courier. Topson trying to rolling bottle away. Great Fisher stuns him up. The call feet will trigger as well. The rune getting denied up by Seb but they want the kill onto Topson. They're sticking around, potential denial. Another rolling bottle forward, but Ember Spirit blocks the path out. An AA and of the Shaker, they're great heroes for an Ember to play around and profit tree. Like these heroes are very squishy to his Here they go damage. again. Spirit committal in forward. Needs to get the Searing Chains off. Keep the damage coming. Jirax has no trees to work with. Another side of Fist will get the kill. Gabby begins his own TP out. Well Anna and Seb have no disable. So it's a quick jump out while Cuckoo will be knocked down by Topson. You're talking about all these great items that OG can have against the Alchemist, but everyone else from TNC is still getting their own. Anna, okay, that's a Nova being committed. Gabby's moving in as well. Oh, Ice yeah. Blast is gonna connect as Anna moves up the hillside. You can't deny that one, Alice Nortel sits in the river, trying to force Gabby back, working with Topson as well as Seb. They have the overgrowth from Jirax. He'll also join the fight. Maybe Ember Spirit, no, he cannot jump and get away. Spectre did tick out at the same time, Earth Spirit. Wants to keep rolling, bouldering in. Can he find a different target? Both of the supports of TNC on the way out. Here's your rolling boulder forward already, EU. Dodges it, the kick comes forward. A little bit of slow and silence. Ah, Mel's now arriving. The Alchemist has joined the fight, and Thompson has one anything to do with it. Wow. He clipped himself at tips, gets the sun off. The concoction could still fly out as Jirax almost permanently summoned the fidget. Will find the actually, no, it's Ah, Mel who will find up two kills. They're gonna give him the third one onto No Tail, and Thompson's still on the hill. He doesn't want to come back down again. They know he's up there. The Plague Wars are watching him. Thompson rolling ball is down. They're going to give the Ultra Cut to wow. Armel. Of course they do. Let the money flood in. That's his Manta style. That's yeah. OG practically he, all dead. Venal Ward's placed around the map. And it seems like everyone's slowed down enough anyway that he can just walk at him. Like, Cuckoo's getting enough of the slows yeah. across the map, and now OG, they're coming in. They're gonna find Tim's a little bit far up. Rolling Boulder, well off target. Could've actually started that with Frostbite, but they silence him up for so half a tanky. second. Tim's now gets the fissure off, and the Ice Blast. No Tail's gonna hit by this perfectly. Anna jumps in, but the Echo Slam. Tim's just locks down Thompson as well as Anna. Here comes Armel, looking for the concoction, but it's in the back lines. It's Gabby with the Searing Chains. He'll kill off No, no Tail. He'll hold Thompson in position. And this game has beyond escalated quickly. Yeah, this has just been a gradual roll in favor of TNC, and Seb's gonna die as well. The concoction connects on bottom. Gabby, come on. Like, Thompson can have his silence, he can have his level of control, yeah, but once that's gone, you need look Anna. At, look at Anna's items, though. He's got Haunt Shirt. He's got a, he's got 93 damage. He's got a Hood and Treads and two rate. Like, this, and this is not a again. strong hero right now. He gets hit by Ice Blast. He's trying to survive this by having that hood, and he will survive for a long time. He's got the living armor as well as that extra little bit of a buff up. Supports come in from the back lines from Seb and Anna. Another spectral dagger out, but a spirit committal. Gabby, he really wants to get this kill. He's searing chained him, locked him in the tree lines. Seb side back in the lane. Maybe no talents, Thompson, no. No talent frostbites and then goes into the trees. He can let it go, but there's very little that Thompson can do here. Rolling bolus forwards, gets a double silence, turns on the magnetize, but here comes Armel. Here's the big beast. OG will start buying back into this game. But all it's going to do is feed more money into the Alchemist. He'll kill off Topson. And this game, it actually feels like it's already over. We haven't had a team three tower being attacked, but yeah, they'll keep it going. They'll keep moving up.
Gabby will get himself his 11th kill of this game. Cuckoo's already putting the wards down. Radiant scan, dire scan. Uh, everyone's aware of what's happening. Spectral Horn from Anna can get him in the middle of the thick of this, but they don't know the timing of Roshan. He's already at 1.2k. And then the initiation as she comes towards the mid lane. Ice Blast comes in. No tell on top to get perfectly hit by that. The Nova is pretty damn good as well. Everyone's going to start to tick down. Maybe they can get something in return. Cuckoo will finally die. OG can get a kill, but they're going to lose everything else. Here comes Armel. Jirax actually just ticked down as well. As Armel just has to stand next to him. Letting everybody else, the supports, get the kills. This game's over. GG. Not even 22 minutes on the board, and OG will admit defeat. A uh, simply stunning lineup for TNC, according to the panel. Oh, they're already, already looking for the fight. Like, you don't even get time. Thompson's waiting up on the hill just to block a you in. You know, cut through a tree quickly, and Thompson's just waiting. Again, again. Let me just stand in front of you, Paralyzed, and Cast won't even bounce for him. Jump forward, and they want to give this last hit into Thompson as well, and they've got it. So, first blood goes the way of OG, exactly what they want to see. Without, um, without having to actually, like, tank side blades, but you've already mm -hmm. taken so Is much damage. Dead? Yeah, um... Uh, Thompson? That was... interesting. Sarmel's getting every last hit. It is crazy how much Fatal Bond is doing on the bottom lane. Yeah. Like, Anna is spinning in. At, at the same time, like, okay, you're right, you say something nice about it. Edict, Hotel's trying to share oh, no, the load, but they double... line up for the double bar. No. This is Tim's. You know Tim's is going to hit, though, so he hits it hard. Now, Nortel, another quick Fatal Bond's up. Cuckoo's actually dying right now to Nortel because Tim's is taking so much damage from the crane wave. Nortel is one more hit, and you'll actually claim the kill in time. Make the entire booth just shake. Uh, just to just to basically play mind games, but there was also a little fun thing uh, as Anna. He's gonna try and get himself out of this one. The healing ward is down, but they get rid of that quickly, so Cuckoo will mop him up. Yeah. But uh, just just to finish the story, like uh, one of the Chi the Chinese teams would have a habit of just rubbling their feet whenever they go for a gank, and this is something that uh, Dendi was talking about, where they <laughs> so actually they could, they could feel it and they knew the gank was Literally coming. Feel it coming. Yeah, maybe you don't get as much as you would free farming the mid lane, but nothing on OG is really capable of rotating to the woods yet. TA is still number one net worth. Trouble at mid, Gabby getting attack supports nearby. You can start with a roar and rolling boulder of Thompson. Got the ink swell on him. He's actually moving up over towards Armel. Runs through him. Number one net worth is going to go down for TNC. Well done by Seb there. That's all the Necro book. It's uh, after the HOD nerfs. I think this is the right choice because you can already see. Look how strong he is. It's eight minutes in oh God, and Cougar. Seb has a zoo with him. They're just trying to kill off Witch Doctor with the bounce damage down. Cuckoo's taking so much damage too because he killed off the Necro book that was still connected by Fatal Bonds as well. I, I see that like, uh, like obviously we're feeling like very different from game one. Like game one is like, man, TNC is just rolling over this and OG doesn't like making a lot of sense. Uh, TP out from Cuckoo. That won't work. No tell drops the rock and Cuckoo. Now drop every bit of mana he's got. He wants to try and live. He has the regeneration room, but the Shadow Wood was on him. So he'll die to the tower, but... The kill still belongs yep. to OG. How many traps have they prepared here in mid? They're everywhere. Running onto him with the army. Him. Here comes Thompson. Gonna rolling thunder himself in and back and just try and keep Armel permanently stunned. Even the Omni Slash being committed. And Thompson just keeps jumping through the back lines. Tim's can hide inside the sandstorm for the moment. It's an interaction I haven't got to see before. All right. Well, we'll we'll throw that one to the, to the brains trust out there. Find yeah. out how interaction works between Grimstroke Having that soul bind as well as Fatal Bonds. Goodbye, Thompson. If he comes OG. Straight into Gabby. Roar is out. They're going to burn off the mana. 160 needs to be dropped below that. Well, there goes your reincarnation. Here comes Cuckoo. Rodomato's going to work. He wants to kill oh off the my. Beastmaster. And he's going to rip straight through them. Working with Armel. The spin is out as well. They're going to get, get the kill on the wall. Cuckoo is still dying so quickly thanks to Anna. And Thompson, he's able to disable the Templar Assassin, disarming him up. Ends up being a two for two trade off. OG were definitely the instigator. Someone to get the bounty rune. As now Thompson jumps down the bar strike. It's going to be good on him, but they're able to get the silence out. They hold that that SK out of the fight, allowing to chase down Gabby. They won't get the big one. They really want to kill off Gabby as Tim's he can hide inside the sandstorm. They can proc Maelstrom. And when you look at TNC's heroes, like these two melee cores. How do, you, how do you actually play Dota into that? They need that happy center. Fire strike initiation straight to the back lines. Assault Bind is out, however. Don't. Raw pushing it back. Lashrak, he's just going to die. Surrounded by three heroes. But it's still a one for one trade off a quick buyback, but it was the Warlock you killed off. TA has to hide herself for a moment. Another Fire Strike forward. They need to get TA to actually attack something. Anna just moves forward, finds up a kill, and then even going to walk so... himself out. No Tims will stay on him, but they break the Aegis Immortal. That's all they get through. 
And they're gonna claim it, or will they? Paralyzing Cast Guards, a good Maledict onto... Onto Seb. Uh, Anna? Juggernaut. Uh, what? Anna? Uh, what? Way too far forward. Isolated out. Cuckoo is Novaring through Thompson as well. He won't be able to escape. He tried to swashbuckle down, but he'll die. And Tim's, he'll look for a JTV Barra strikes that tree line. He would have caught him. No doubt they'll find him there. Inside the all right. trees, break them all down. An OG for a tier three tower. I don't know if that was the commitment they really wanted to make. Tim's is coming back now. Does Lashrak want to buy back for this? There's your first bolt over into Anna. Remember, he's got that Aegis, the Immortal. He's got the Healing Ward behind, and TNC don't have an easy way of just chipping away at that. So they fortify him by more time. Eight seconds before the Shrike is back up and running. They get rid of at least the Rock. A quick stun. Stun, stun in with the Death Ward. The damage onto Anna is pretty high. He'll actually go down this one until Thompson gets the Rolling Boulder in. Anna will start to spin away as Thompson just does so much damage with this North, South, East, West Wash Buckling Boulder. They've held though. That was really well done by TNC. They're using their spells just because Thompson wanted to pop ulti earlier before the stuns came out yeah. to zone to kill Rax. TNC get the damage off first, so it's more of a peel. OG didn't feel powerful oh, enough good spin. to pursue. Starts it off, knew that Tim's was going to initiate in the raw Soulbind again. The Soulbind came a little bit later, however. Oh but my god, the Beetle Bots! The Beetle Bots! The Beetle Bots! They have just destroyed them! That is the ultimate combination of pain. Tim's need a hard fight. With the epicenter, Anna has dropped. Remember, he's got the Aegis Immortal. He's the only one down for OG as Armel's into the back lines. They want to kill off Thompson. The damage won't be enough. Anna spins away to safety. A quick rate fire blast. They're focusing on the Pangalier. They know he doesn't have any kind of immunity, but he's got the cheese. He gets the life back up, and the Fatal Bond is on them once again. TNC, they can't afford to take this damage. It splits too hard across everyone. Tim's Burrow strikes in, creating more space. They spin him up. Cuckoo needs to get back underneath this towers, but Anna spinning with him all the way under the towers, all the way into their home. There is no place safe like it. Anna pushing back towards the racks. Now Tim's, he has done such a great job just delaying this one up. Armel. Red King will die. He'll actually have his way back up. Armel, he's got Refraction now. Back off cooldown. Thompson's in deep. The quick blink away. It obviously doesn't get cancelled while Refraction is up. Here's your rate fire blast. Thompson, they have to kill him off. They have to push back OG. They're able to finally do it. In addition, Shaw. Sure. Good luck, have fun. And OG, they're still as powerful. They just need to hit that combo once again. Roar up in 30 seconds for Seb, but with Sand King dead, no buyback. Gabby jumping the back lines. He's looking for him. Hey, we're gonna attack yep. It's no tell. Kill that bloody Warlock. If they can get him off, now the stuns. Here's your soul bind catching him together. Warlock will go down. So no more better bonds in this fight, but Thompson, now he can come online. Jumping in deep, a defensive heal set from the Lashrak. Our Mel's caught in deep as well. They can get the stun off, and this game, it really is over. 100 seconds without the TA, raking the only one alive. They're gonna kill him outside the base, totally isolated. They'll kill him a second time as well. Silenced up, nothing the Wraith King can do. Triple kill for Anna and OG. They will be able to claim this game. Oh yeah. We haven't had the GG call. There it is right there. 1-1 one, one, OG strat works yeah. perfectly. I, I love it because you know, No-Till's interview even sets this up. You talk about breaking the game, right? <laughs> Finding ways to exploit the rules of Dota. Things that shouldn't work.